So, ladies and gentlemen, what I'm going to do is we're going to go over some um, beginning definitions of, for our geometry unit. Hence, we're going to be talking about the foundations of geometry, right? So what I'd like to do is for you to create a kind of a nice big box. Probably cover up, cover up at least a third of your paper. All right, and what we're going to do is going to kind of talk about some of the founding elements that are going to make up the rest of this course. All right, so what we're going to have here is this two-dimensional part is what we call a plane. All right, and I'll get into a plane here in just a second. But inside this plane, what is going to be contained are a couple things. One, we're going to have a point. So a point is going to be in a plane. And we'll talk more about how many points we need to be in the plane. But then we're also going to have two points connected, which is going to create a line. Okay. Good. Thank you. All right. So, what I've pretty much created, ladies and gentlemen, is a plane, a point, and a line. Now, what exactly is a point, plane, and line, or point, lines, and planes? All right. Ladies and gentlemen, here is a point, here is a point, and here is a point. All right. So you're going to want to write this down because I'm not going to. A point is a location. It's a location. It doesn't have a shape, nor does it have a size. All right. A line, so again, a point is a, is a location. It's not made up of a size or a shape. A line is a set of points where you only need at least two to create a line. All right? And a line does not have any does not have a thickness. All right? Or you can see this one has infinite length. It goes infinitely to the left and infinitely to the right. So it's a set of points. All right? And we can pretty much say if you have two dip points, it's going to be the set of points that are um, you know, between any two points. Yes. It would not, well, it would be a, what we call a coordinate point. But when we're talking about a line, a line has to have two points. So you can see this line has two points, all right? Um, and lastly, a plane is going to be um, a flat surface that is going to contain infinite many points as well. And you can see how this line, you know how this line goes infinitely to the left and infinitely to the right? It's kind of hard for me to draw that with this plane, but this plane is kind of like this surface, and this surface extends in the up, down, right, and left direction. All right, Think of it like an, a piece of paper that goes infinite. Right? Rather than this piece of paper, rather than this piece of paper being bounded by the edges, the piece of paper goes infinitely that direction, infinitely that direction, and infinitely that direction. Right. But notice how we can have points lie in this piece of paper. But if I was to turn this dimensionally, we could also have points that would be on it, but maybe are behind the plane or in front of the plane. So a plane is going to be your solid surface. Go around that way, please. Go around that way, please. I'll go and grab it. You have some under rubber. Huh? Rubber. Oh, OK. You can have some. All right. So that's going to be our plane. And for a plane, it's going to need to contain at least three points. All right? So our plane needs to contain at least three points. Three. Three points. All right. So how do we name these things? That's what it usually gets to everybody. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we name a point with a capital letter. So. Let's call this one A. All right? We can call this one B. And this is a point C. So when I say my points, I'll just say it's A, 
comma, B, comma, C. Those are three different points that are on that diagram. And we use capital letters, not lowercase, capital. All right? The next thing is, how do we describe a line? Well, you can see a line. Remember, a line, we have to have at least two points. Right? You have to have at least two points to be able to name for us to make up our line. So our line, if our line um, continues indefinitely, what we do is we create a little line up top. So we use the two points that are going to make up the line, or any two points to make up a line. And then we, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I should probably should write line and then that. Hunter Tarathus? Hunter? They said the ring is not that OK. Thank you. Thank you. OK, um, so now what you guys have is you have a line, which is written like this, which is at least two points. You're going to want to write down a line, which is, has two points. Line, write down two points. Um, and then lastly, a plane. So in this case, ladies and gentlemen, to be able to write a plane, um, a plane needs to contain at least three points. A line has two points, a, or at least two points. A plane, we're going to need to write with three points. So therefore, our plane, we could just write as A, B, C. Now, we're not doing commas like our points, because points, we had three separate points. But for our plane, we'll just write it as A, B, C. All right? And lastly, last two things I need to go over with you. If, here's the last two definitions you guys are going to want, collinear and coplanar. Um, Miss Alamo next door, right? She's my coworker, right? What does the coworker kind of mean? She helps me, right? And I help her. But, and so that means we also, so we work together, right? And we work on the same things, but we both work at Mandarin, right? We're co-workers. So collinear, when we're talking about collinears, we're talking about things that are going to share something on the same line. We're not talking about where you work, but we're talking about things that are on the same line. Well, what is a part of a line? What do we use to make up a line? Points. So if I'm saying collinear, what that means is points that lie on the same line, all right? So we're going to be using collinear a lot, and you guys need to understand Collinear is when we have points that lie in the same line. All right, now, so in this example, ladies and gentlemen, are A and B collinear? Yeah. Yes. Is C collinear with A and B? No, no right? Pretty outside. And then we go and look at coplanar. Well, if we talked about collinear, are points that lie in the same line. What do you think coplanar is going to be? Points that lie on the same plane. plane, right? Exactly. All right. And ladies and gentlemen, are A, B, and C, do those all lie on the same plane? Yeah. Yes, very good. What about D over here? No. no, as far as on this, we have a restriction of this plane, so D is not lie on this plane. So D is not coplanar. Okay? Good. Wow, that was a nine-minute video. <laughs>